Our next winner is Danielle Bailey, a true child of courage, a teenager who simply refuses to be beaten. Today, 13-year-old Danielle Bailey is competing in a regional swimming competition. Let's go! Something her parents never thought they'd see. Things like arts and crafts, painting, colouring, a finger painting, just everything that most four-year-old girls love to do. In 2002, Danielle's future changed dramatically when her mother Lynn noticed the early signs of meningitis. Soon afterwards, Danielle was in hospital, fighting for her life. They put her on 48-hour death watch. Um, it sort of said to me that there was probably no way she would make it through. To add to her trials, Danielle had also developed a severe blood infection that was affecting all of her limbs. When I fell into intensive care to see Danielle, um, I was met with the sight of a child that didn't even look like Danielle. Incredibly, she came through that critical period, but at a heavy price. It slowly became clear that actually neither of her hands or her legs were going to survive. Then when I woke up, I thought I had hands and legs like everybody else, and then the doctors came round and said we had to, like, amputate them. I burst into tears cos I didn't... because I didn't feel like I was a normal kid anymore. But as Danielle learnt to live with her disability, it became clear she definitely wasn't just a normal child. She was extraordinary. And I said to myself, there's people worse in the world than you, so you might as well start feeling sorry for yourself and just get on with life. I made mine. Danielle inspires me on every level. She inspires me with, you know, never give up, um, always keep fighting. Just over a year ago, Danielle took the brave step of attempting to swim for the first since losing her limbs, and she hasn't looked back since. In the last 13 or 14 months, uh, Danielle's gone from being a, a non-swimmer to now swimming at national championships and, and competitions all over the, the region. She's obviously got a real attribute to be a top athlete, and I really hope she does make it. In her short time as a competitive swimmer, Danielle has already won gold at the Disabled National Junior Championships as she builds towards her Olympic dream. When I'm swimming, I feel free because I, it may, it, I feel like I don't have a disability. I feel like any normal person would feel. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Danielle Bailey. You've not been doing it a year yet, have you? No. Now, getting some fantastic times. Yeah. Yeah, so what's your ambition? Um, hopefully in 2016 to swim for the Paralympics. <laughs> now, when we told you about your um, Pride of Britain award, I've never heard such screaming <laughs> in my life. We sent boy band One Direction to liven up the school assembly. Watch this. Range this afternoon linked to the work you've been doing in geography. We've arranged this talk, OK, regarding the Kashmir earthquake, which was given to year nine yeah, this time last year. to see you all, but we're in for a very special reason. We've come to meet a very special young lady called Danielle Bailey. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Now, we know that you are an incredible girl and you are extremely talented and we're here to tell you that you have won a Pride of Britain award. <laughs> Thank you. 
disappointment. <laughs> and how. So now let's hear it for the girlies. To present your award, we have Una, Molly, Rochelle and Vanessa from the Saturdays. But, but, as an added bonus, and I know you're a huge fan of his, Peter Andre. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I used to swim like you when I was younger as well. It's such a fantastic sport and you're amazing. Yeah, she wasn't as good as you. No. <laughs> you know, once in a while you meet people that really inspire you along the way. And this is one of those days and you're mm. one of those people that really inspire us because your courage and just how brave you are and talent. Isn't well she amazing, done. everyone? Yes, she really is. Amazing.